If you have an investment account with Charles Schwab and you're wondering if you're getting the most amount of interest you can on your cash investments, then this video is for you. I'll discuss a few different ways that you could possibly increase the interest you're getting on your cash investments. So if you head over to schwab.com forward slash cash investments, you will see some information that Charles Schwab has about the different options you have for cash. Now the default option on every investment account is going into their their sweep program. What that means is that anytime you make a deposit to your account or you receive interest or dividends that's not automatically reinvested, it goes into what's known as your cash sweep account. And you can see here that that yield is approximately 0.48%. So definitely better than you're getting at your bank, but certainly not competitive in the current environment. Now, another option without really taking on any more risk would be to buy one of the Schwab purchased money market funds. And if we click here on view products, we can see that Schwab has a number of different money market funds. If we scroll down the page a little bit and right here, it's listing the seven day yield. And then it's also listing the minimum initial purchase. So this first one, the Schwab value money advantage fund SWVXX has a seven day yield of 4.94% and a $0 minimum initial purchase. Now there's also the Schwab value advantage money fund. If you do have a million dollars or more, you could use that fund, but that is a pretty high minimum. So there's a number of other funds that you could use. You could use the Schwab government money fund, um, with also have a zero dollar purchase that Schwab treasury obligations. So you can do a little bit more research onto what might be best for you. And then if you also had money that you wanted to make sure you weren't paying um, federal income tax on, you could also use one of the, their municipal money funds. And you can see that the highest yielding one uh, was zero investment. It looks like it's 3.53 percent. Now, if we go back to the Schwab Value Money Advantage Fund, because this is what I personally use for my investments and a lot of my clients' money, if you click on the symbol here, you'll find out that with money market funds, these rates change every seven days. Now, money market funds are designed to hold a value of a dollar. So when you buy a money market fund, it holds a dollar of a value, a value of a dollar. And the goal is to never break that dollar. Now, it's not guaranteed. Money market funds are backed by, you know, different conservative investments. In this case, it's really backed by U.S. government treasury bonds. And their goal is to not break a dollar. Um, so even though it's not guaranteed, most likely it probably won't break the dollar. And then every seven days that interest rate resets. So right now that interest rate is very high because the Federal Reserve has been raising rates. So you're getting that 4.94%. But if interest rates were cut, that rate could go lower. And with all money market funds, they do have some expense. Now in this case, this fund has an annual expense ratio of 0.35% on a gross basis and a net of 0.34. So that's what you're paying. If you held this fund for a whole year, you're paying 0.34%. So that is going to reduce the yield because this yield that you're getting, the 4.94 is actually um, before any fees. Now that's probably still better than you're getting uh, on any money that you have in the bank account. So this would be a very good option if you did want to keep your money liquid because with money market it is liquid and you could do this right inside of your Schwab investment account whether that be a retirement account or a brokerage account but the trick here is that with any any of these money market funds if you remember it says these are ones that you have to purchase so you'd actually have to go back into your account and you'd have to make that purchase so if you had let's say ten thousand dollars you wanted to buy an SWVXX you or your advisor would have to log into your account, enter the purchase in for $10,000, and then you'd start earning the interest. And let's say a month later, you need that $10,000 to pay a bill and you want to withdraw the money. Then you need to go back in your account or have your advisor go back in your account and actually put in a sell order for the amount of the money market fund that you want to sell. So that's the only extra step that you have to do to get this additional yield is you have to go in and physically purchase the money market fund that you want to buy. So, um, however, it's probably worth it. Many people are sitting on a significant amount of cash, whether that be in their regular bank account, even in their brokerage accounts. And with interest rates being as high as they are right now, it's probably worth the little bit of time, maybe a couple minutes at max. Once you get the hang of it, 
you know, of putting in the buy or sell order, or you let your advisor know it's not going to take a lot of time, and that could end up helping you earn a lot more money with um, just a conservative investment option. So consider checking that out, buying one of the uh, other money market funds as an alternative to just the cash sweep inside of your Schwab accounts. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button below. Thank you.